A rider approaches. So I see. I, Navedui Dunadan. An elf! Magovan and Melon. What did he just say? Well met, friend. Or at least I think so. This is Glorfindel, of the House of Elrond, in Rivendell. Hail, and well met at last! We were told to look for you. By Gandalf? No. Elrond received news of you from elves traveling near the Shire. As soon as he learned things were amiss, he sent out riders in all directions. Here. Frodo has a Morgul wound. He must get to Rivendell. Then he shall ride my horse, Asphalon. His pace is smooth, and he'll let no rider fall from his back. Fly! The enemy is upon us! Fly to the ford! Ride on! Norolim! Norolim, Asphalon! Elrond's command, the waters of the River Bruinen swept the Ringwraiths away. We entered the hidden elven valley of Rivendell. Elrond, the Lord of Rivendell, healed the wound made by the Morgul blade. Frodo awoke to a familiar face. Gandalf! Yes, I am here. And you are lucky to be anywhere, after all the absurd things you've done. Then we made it! But we needed you, Gandalf. I was held captive by the treachery of Saruman the White, the chief of the wizards. But now I am free, and astonished that you brought the ring all this way. Hobbits seem especially resistant to the evil of the ring. Thank you for sending Aragorn. I didn't know he could fight ring wraiths. I thought he was only a ranger. Only a ranger? My dear Frodo, Rangers are the last remnant of the kings of ancient Numenor. But now your part in the quest of Mount Doom is complete. You shall hear all about it in many meetings. You are to be the guest at the Council of Elrond. My friends, this is the Hobbit, Frodo, son of Drogo. He has sacrificed much to bring the One Ring to Rivendell. Frodo, these are leaders of the free peoples of Middle-earth. Gimli, son of Glawin of the Dwarf Kingdom of Erebor, where the Dark Lord Sauron threatens invasion. Legolas, son of Thrandul, King of the Wood Elves. They fight Sauron's forces in Mirkwood Forest. Boromir, son of the Steward of Gondor. The men of Gondor suffer great losses to protect us all from Sauron's armies. Sauron's power is tied to this ring. We must carry it deep into Mordor and Destroy it in the fires of Mount Doom. Destroy it? You would deliver our greatest weapon right to the doorstep of our enemy? We cannot use it. It corrupts all who bear it. The more powerful the bearer, the more dangerous they will become. I fear to take the ring to hide it. I will not take the ring to wield it. A dark riddle. Those powerful enough to enter Mordor dare not touch the ring. Powerful enough to enter Mordor? All the armies of Middle-earth join together could not enter Mordor! A small force with stealth may succeed where a large army would fail. Elves have tried to join with dwarves against Sauron, but the dwarves prefer to hide in their dark caves counting their treasures. At least dwarves are not fleeing Middle-earth! But elves are sailing away to the safety of the West during our darkest hour! Enough! I say we use the ring as a weapon for none of you is powerful enough to bear the ring to Mordor. I will take the ring, though I do not know the way. I think this task has been appointed for you, Frodo. If you do not find the way, no one will. You won't send him alone? No, indeed, since it is not possible to separate you from him, Sam Gamgee. Gandalf shall lead a fellowship of free people against Sauron. Nine walkers against Sauron and his nine riders. 
Legolas shall be for the elves, and Gimli for the dwarves. For men there shall be Aragorn, and Boromir of Gondor. For the remaining two, I shall call for great heroes, like... Merry and Pippin! Hobbits are free people too! You cannot begin to imagine the danger ahead. Neither can Frodo, and neither can I. Even the greatest lords of the elves could not force open a passage through Mordor. I would rather trust Hobbit friendship than ancient power. Very well, then. The Fellowship of the Ring shall set forth to Mordor. When you saw fire and lightning on Weathertop, you saw the effects of my battle with the Ringwraiths. Had I been three days later, I would have met you. I came to Rivendell seeking answers about a dream. A vision that said the Halfling shall stand forth. Are you that Halfling? This mission is so great, and you are so small. Renewed shall be the blade that was broken. The crownless again shall be king. The elven smiths have reforged Narsil, the blade of my ancestors. You have done me a great honor. You do us honor to carry it against our common enemy, Aragorn, son of Arathorn, son of the kings of Numenor. It shall have a new name, Anduril, Flame of the West. May it see the end of the Dark Lord, and then see you safely back to me, my love. You have my thanks, Arwen Andumiel, and my love. My Govanan Melon. Well met to you as well, friend. Your path will be an arduous one, Mingbearer. May the stars shine upon your face. Elrond chose your companions well, Frodo. We shall not fail you. My father, Gloin, traveled with your uncle Bilbo years ago. The dwarves of Lonely Mountain still revere Bilbo, along with our greatest heroes. His bravery helped win back our mountain home from the dragon, Smaug. A most honorable hobbit is Bilbo Baggins. We have learned that the strange creature called Gollum told the Dark Lord that Baggins of the Shire took the ring. Gollum was held captive by the Wood Elves, but he escaped. He is still seeking the ring. Hello, Bilbo. It looks like we'll be going soon. I wanted to stop by and say goodbye. There you are, Frodo, my lad. I've some gifts for you, for use on the road ahead. First, there is Sting, the blade of an elven prince. You'll need it, I wager. This is a mithril shirt from the Dragon Treasure. Very light, but stronger than any steel. Thank you for all you have done to help me. Help you? I've brought a terrible doom upon you. I would take the silly old ring myself. But without it, the years have caught up with me. I'm not well-preserved anymore. As you once said, the old that is strong does not wither. You should heed your own words. Ah, yes. Take care of yourself, Frodo, and bring back all the news you can. I'm writing a book about your adventure. Take care of yourself, Uncle Bilbo. I'll bring back all the news I can, and old songs and tales as well. It was December when we set forth on the road to Mordor, travelling through the ancient land of Holland. We were beset on all sides by Sauron's power, for birds and beasts and even weather could be bent to the wheel of Sauron. The Dark Lord hurled a raging snowstorm as we tried to cross the great mountain Carathras. We forged on until an avalanche forced us to quit the mountain and seek another path. Barathras has defeated us. Should we turn back? There is no safety for the ring in Rivendell. Where do we go? There is another path. The Mines of Moria. That is a name of ill omen. But in Gondor, we will have strong allies. The enemy expects that, so the ring must not go near Gondor. I shall follow you to Moria and look upon the great underground city of Khazad-dûm. I will go, but I say to you all, beware the secrets of Moria. I will not go. Unless the vote of the whole company is against me. The ring-bearer's voice should be heard. I do not wish to go, but I do not wish to forsake the Council of Gandalf either. We must reach Moria, and soon. Gandalf speaks true. Our troubles may get worse, and sooner than we'd like. 